Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The Orange County Black Chamber of Commerce is gearing up for its big annual celebration. This year, the celebration, the power of community connections. The chairman of the Orange County Black Chamber of Commerce here now to talk about that, amongst other things, Bobby McDonald. Welcome. Leslie, always a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Um, what are you celebrating this year? Well, we thought that uh, we would go to Disneyland this year. It's their 60th anniversary and, and everything is quote unquote dazzle. So I thought that our theme should be the power of community connections. We've been in, around for 31 years. Look at those different groups, uh, the community, uh, other chambers and events that we've had over the year with people in the community and highlight those, uh, those community connections. It's because it's the power of the community connections that really pretty much has made our county. You're honoring uh, some of the uh, people who have contributed a lot to our community this year. You're also honoring and acknowledging a special place in history, literally, for um, the Orange County Black Chamber of Commerce. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, you know, again, a couple of the awardees this year will be, uh, again, Todd, uh, Todd Spitzer and uh, Lisa Haynes from Disneyland and, of course, the chair of the Board of the Supervisors. Todd Spitzer's been a big instrumental part of the Black Chamber and, and our community. You know, uh, Eric Fisher is getting the President's Award because of the the, the, the jobs and the supplier diversity piece he puts together with Edison. Uh, Shanice Smith is, is going to be our business person of the year. And then, of course, we're bringing in Michael Fisher, uh, who is the director of the Veterans Administration over in Long Beach. And he's been there for a couple of years and has done a great job for veterans here in, 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 the, in the county or in the two, three counties. But um, for the, the, the fun part, the, the real fun one for the banquet, we'll be honoring uh, the Orange County Fair Board uh, for their efforts, uh, their million dollar gift they gave to uh, the Heroes Hall Veterans Foundation to, to maintain Heroes Hall. Now, Heroes Hall will be, there was a barracks slash infirmary that was on uh, the Orange County Fairgrounds. The Orange County Fairgrounds is quote unquote hollow ground for us veterans because that was the Santa Ana Army Air Base. Um, over 50% of the pilots and bombardiers in World War II trained there. So that whole area around there is all uh, The younger ground. generation might forget about what a rich history Orange County is based, rooted in the military. Well, not only in the military, but our two biggest uh, economic engines uh, in, the, in the county, which made mm -hmm. the county, was uh, economic, uh, the economic driven by the, the uh, agriculture and the military. And to have the, have the Heroes Hall right next to uh, Centennial Farms at the fairground would be real nice. People will be able on November the 11th, 2016, Veterans Day next year, we'll have it open and ready to go. And people will be able to come in through it through the fairgrounds or off Fair Drive. Mm -hmm. And we'll, have, uh, we'll be able to help and, and talk about those different things that happen here in Orange County for all veterans. Let's talk about what's happening in Orange County, uh, what the Chamber is doing to help uh, especially young students. Well, we're, we've, uh, for about 12 years, 14 years now, we, uh, we've always been involved with scholarships for uh, our students at Fullerton, Irvine, and Chapman and the eight community colleges. And, and we're still doing those book scholarships. We're working with a couple other groups in the county and outside the county that really work with students getting into college, in the high school, and also with the military. So we're looking at ways to really, really help our students with, uh, with educational opportunities and also with book scholarships to, to move them along and increase their ability to come back and be great citizens in our county. All right, thank you very much, uh, Bobby McDonald, uh, always here to update us on what's going on uh, in the Orange County Black Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much, Leslie, it's always a pleasure. You guys are great. All right, and thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.